if you're the type of person that likes playing a warrior and you're going to be on Agnar and you're thinking about what kind of warrior am I going to play? Well, I got one for you. One of my viewers recommended uh, the Ogre Warrior. His name is uh, Greldak. And the thing is, is the reason why he recommended it is back in the day, the Ogre Warrior was pretty much this, the warrior to have. And there's a couple reasons why. Number one, had definitely the most hit points because it has the highest stamina. Number two, could not be stunned from the front. And that is a big one, folks. Really, really, really big. And also came with uh, some of the best stats you could have. The highest strength for, for sure. So you could move these stats around in old days a little better than you can do now. And uh, you could have a, a, a really, really balanced warrior if you want, or you can just have a maxed out stamina one. And the thing is, is in those days, as today, it's very, very hard to get stamina items. Strength items weren't hard at all to get, but stamina were very hard. So you start off in Ogook, unlike Crescent Reach, and uh, you got to go out that way. If you followed along with the video, you'll see how to get out. Along the way, there's these little... Uh, young armadillos and regular armadillos, you can beat them up for experience. So it's kind of nice. Kill as many of those as you can. But your final destination is to get out of this, uh, get out of Oguk, get it into the newbie zones, the Firat. Not to be confused with the Firat, the dream, <laughs> but just the regular good old Firat. And uh, yeah, you want to just get out there and start whacking away at stuff. Now, at low levels, you're not going to really need a healer. Maybe for level one or so, but later on you're gonna want to try to get hooked up with a shaman. Uh, since the ogres don't have clerics, uh, you're, or druids, you're gonna have to find a shaman. They're gonna be all over the place. People are gonna be either a shaman or a warrior, so a shadow knight. But uh, get yourself a shaman when you get past level two or three, I'd say. Uh, you'll you'll level a lot faster, and later on you will need uh, somebody like that. So head on out this way. Just keep on trucking and uh, don't stop to admire the, the vendors or the beautiful architecture or anything like that because you're probably not going to be coming back here. You want to fight your way through the fear rod over to in and through a swamp and then finally up to South Row and finally after that to the Oasis. So here we go. We're just going to go right out and this guy here, if you are fighting in the front a little bit and you want to sell stuff just come on back to him and sell there's probably no not much reason to come back okay out we go now with every good thing there's always a bad side to it and a bad side for the ogre since he's so good physically and stat wise is that he's got to start in a fear rot and a fear rot in those days was kind of like a forgotten zone. Nobody really liked it. It was dark, unlike what you see here. Dark and foggy and uh, sparsely populated. Dangerous too. But nowadays, it's it's still the same fear rot, except they've changed the look of it. As you can see here, it's not so dark that you can't see at all. And uh, a lot of these mobs here are not social like they used to be. And there are a few spots that have really good traffic. And knowing these few spots is going to make a huge difference because a lot of people are going to stay around by the guards and hang out there. But if you look on the map where I'm at, I'm very, very close to a lizard man camp and I'm very close to one of the big intersections. Now, I don't know why they did this, but when they made revamp this zone or fixed it, uh, they added these uh, areas in here by accident, I guess. But there's going to be an area near the lizard man camp that just about all the monsters track right through this area and if you stay in this one area you can kill the lizard man camp and you can kill all these mobs here without even moving <clears throat> and you're gonna see later on I'm gonna just amass this big giant pile of of uh, corpses there without even moving at all because you've got the frog lock tads you've got spiders you've got decayed skeletons you got wolves you got it all yeah, so and if you get tired of that, you've got the lizard man camp. And what I notice here, and this is on live servers, is the lizards aren't social. And back in the day they were social. In other words, you go and uh 
attack one, the other ones are going to jump in. But, you know, you can attack this guy and he doesn't. And also in the camp, you can attack the mystic and he doesn't join in. He will heal his, uh, his buddies, but he's not going to come out and uh, jump you. So you're going to get a lot of little weapons here. You see guys running around with swords, there's lizard men and all that. Try to knock them down and get their stuff out of it. And there's our shaman, Voodoo Guru. Troll shaman. Came all the way over here to help us out. But this could just as well be an ogre shaman too. So as long as you have somebody to buff you. You see all the buffs I have there? Those are all from the shaman. And this black wolf, these guys are a little weak. Don't worry. If you're an ogre warrior, they're just guys that are going to die like paper mache. So... Just keep whacking away. And Froglock Tad, you need not do anything. Just stand near him. And he'll do the rest. He'll just come attack you. And that's free experience right there. What I would suggest is you use Taunt every time you can. Because later on, that's going to be a very, very important skill to have. You're going to have to taunt a lot of mobs off the Enchanter, the Cleric, and whoever else. The Wizard, obviously. <laughs> now here's that Lizard Band camp down there. You see that there? And right around there... It was just in this general area is a great place to start. What we're going to do is we're going to fight in this camp here. After we fight in the camp and uh, we start to level up a little more, we're going to start to move east where you see the druid circle, then the lower right by height filter. We're going to move there and continue moving more and fighting our way out there. It is doubtful that there's going to be that many people that are really going to be fighting their way through to all the way through to the in the swamp in the south row most people are just going to fight here get their stuff sell it and then level up and afterwards figure out no oh, where am i going to go that's what the average person is going to do but if you really want to get to the good experience which is oasis you got to fight your way out of here <clears throat> so you know, just mow down these uh, skeletons. Sometimes they have crack staffs. And you can always use crack staff. They sell for about one platinum. They go, these guys just, uh, they die so easily. So after you kill this guy here, you can try to take on the camp. And if it works like the way it does down here, uh, you can just jump right in and fight there. But I want to caution you, if you see a mystic in there, Try to pull the other guys away from the mystic. Pull them out of the range of the mystic. Otherwise, he will continue to heal them. Pull the, the guys away and then beat them up. And then later on, you can go for the mystic. But the problem with the mystic is he has the ability to heal himself. So you have to have enough melee damage or some kind of damage to kill him. And at some point, it may become inefficient to spend mana on him. It may be better just to leave him and then continue towards the druid circle and then a little bit further to the right but look at this area check it out you're, you're starting to see right now the juicy area look at this this looks like a, a little freeway right here all sorts of stuff walking by and it's right about here that uh, you're gonna start to rack up lots and lots of lots of kills without even moving and there will probably be somebody in lizard man camp or whatever but get a group come out here or if you're solo look at this I haven't had to have the shaman heal me at all and this is all done solo, basically. So you could, you too could solo this too, yeah, without a worry. And this is, uh, I believe, we're level one still, one or two. Oh, level three. There we go. Just hit level three. So even better. We haven't had any any downtime at all. We have tons and tons of hit points. So notice the map, and it's usually you know okay. Only some mobs will attack you. It's okay to sit down here and uh, regenerate and get your stuff up. Okay, we're going to move on to the next section. So just like I was talking about, this is the spot right here. At level 3, look at this. The Tad, he just comes and attacks you. And uh, you could do whatever you want, watch a ball game or whatever. Just stay right here. He'll come right to you and walk to his death. And then you just kill these guys, collect the loot and whatnot. And look at that impressive little pile building up. And you got spiderlings and all that. And it just keep coming. And the spawn rate is pretty darn good. I mean, to my surprise, I don't remember the old classic being having such a fast spawn rate on yard trash. 
but this is a good spawn rate. And here, here comes another victim. Watch this. Okay, he's he's too far away. So even his aggro radius is uh, is quite uh, small. So just keep working this area to get a little bit higher level. Uh, what you want to plan to do after we kill this spider here, easy victim right here. And what we want to do after that is we want to continue to work our fight our way towards the swamp. A little bit on the name, you may notice he's named Make Me, because when I was in junior high school, there was this guy that he was like the tough guy, right? And they used to name, nickname him Make Me because if you said anything to him, like you said, oh, you know, uh, you suck or whatever, he'd go, make me like that. And then, you know, and he'd start a fight with you and stuff. So I thought that was really funny. I thought, yeah, let's just call him make me. You know, he's the kind of guy where he'll just come up to the lizard man, make me. And uh, so <laughs> that's where I got the name from. So anyway, so just stand right here. You don't have to move a muscle. And uh, here comes your victim, another victim coming down the railroad tracks. Hey, come here. And game on. Whack a doodle do. Look at that. Look at that. We hit like a truck. And that's, you know, you're going to have to kill a lot of them, but uh, at least you don't have to move anywhere. Weighted gloves, you know, you don't want them. Got that netted hat. That's nice. Pick up any AC items you can. Another frog lock tad. So nice that we don't have to go chasing you anywhere. Look at that. Just bam. And just imagine if you had like a, a mage out here and a pet. You just find one of these juicy spots. Park your pet. Go AFK. Next thing you know, you killed 50 of these things just like that. So the goal again is to fight your way from this camp, this juicy spot, to the next camp past the Druid Ring to Inethu Swamp. From there, you want to hook up with other shamans if you can. You definitely want to hook up with them before going to South Row. But eventually, our goal is going to go something like this. We're in the Fear Rock, fight our way all the way to Inethu Swamp. After Inethu Swamp, hook up with a group or somebody, move north into South Row. And by then, you know, you're about level 7, 6 or something. Take on uh, scarabs and stuff, those spiders near the druid ring. And then after that, you're going to be up maybe like 10-ish. And then you want to move in to the higher south row and then do the run the gauntlet and get out into Oasis when you're in your low teens. Level all the way up there to level 20 on crocodiles. And that will go fast, very, very fast. And once you're, you're there, you're all good. And that's, that's level 1 through 20 in one straight linear shot. All right, so here's your final destination. Uh, right before we get down to Inethul Swamp, we have passed the Druid Ring, and we found this other camp right here. And um, same deal. Now you may notice Lizardman, Forger, and Mystic are not particularly doing anything. They're not fighting you. And this is a situation I was telling you about. If you're going to fight these guys, kill the Mystic first. If not killing the Mystic, pull Forger out far enough away where he's out of range of the mystic but note the location on the map you want to fight here if you can by this time you're big enough to kill these mystics and stuff and i was able to kill them one by one in there without pulling them or anything you know in other words you may want to try that and just see what happens after this we're going to go southwest right there in a little swamp so that's your next destination if you ding and go up another level make sure you're about level five before you go into the next zone and that will be it. Um, you're going to say goodbye to the Fear Rot. Never going to have to come back to this uh, godforsaken place. <laughs> okay, now we got a little tricky part in this game. And what we want to do here is we're in the end of the swamp. You have two options. You can either move down to the lower right part of the map to grab, go into the city, buy stuff if you need to, sell stuff. Or you can go ahead straight north up to the top and I call that kind of like the easy way out of here if you go to the right and go along lower guck upper guck that's a dangerous area then you're gonna have to do what I call run the gauntlet because right in front of upper guck there's a whole bunch of frogs fungus man you name it all sorts of garbage out there and that's difficult so for the for this video I'm gonna show you how to get out the easy way now this is assuming that you've gotten up to maybe like level seven or so something like a six seven and you can get that down here so 
ideally what it look like is you get down here you go down to grob you sell your trash you get some money and then after that you make some friends pick up a group or something and then when you go up there come all the way back down to the bottom to the southwest side and then head up this side i know it seems like a little longer route if they don't want to go you just go by yourself because you're going to survive this way those other guys unless it's really crowded in front of upper guck i wouldn't go the other way because there's just too much trash that can just slow you down can kill you you know it can it can definitely happen so continue going up this way and you will see there's only maybe one or two frogs and in old days this is how we always did it we always went this way because this way is uh the safest way and as you started ogre warrior you'd always go this way now keep in mind you have to bind so you can bind and grob and that's one way to do it a lot of the times people would go all the way up to freeport and bind in there but so you bind and you come out this way and this is how it's done now keep a close eye on the lower right hand side of the screen you will see one frog and do not stop and admire him or do not stop and admire the beautiful there he is lower right do not admire the fog and the, the nice green trees just keep on trucking and if he's on you or something's on you don't stop just just run see that snake over there that snake that that guy don't mess with him just leave him for later okay just head right out the exit and you are clear you're ready to go into south row you will probably find a group there if you're the appropriate level and we'll see okay so we're in south row right now and as you saw we have uh, grouped up with voodoo guru who is our shaman of course and trollerific our famous shadow knight troll you might have seen him in the other new player video shadow knight troll well it's nice to have him along we're going to have a pretty tough group here now what's probably going to happen is you're going to get up here and they're going to be people all over the place up here there's going to be smart players that know how to get up here and and know why you want to get up here rather than staying back in a big traffic jam in Inethu swamp because Inethu swamps experience or mobs they usually top out about five level five six seven around there but if you get up here and you go towards the druid ring you're gonna see that they've got some pretty juicy stuff now it, with a duo or a trio it may be tough to take on and we are i think in this we're maybe like level six or so so we're slightly about one level below but see those green guys those scarabs they're red to you you go up to level six or seven they will be yellow and in a group there's no reason you can't take these guys and my guy he practically doesn't have anything and look at this you know you can get a coyote while you're at it too now the one thing to keep in mind is when attacking the sand scarab is they are social with fire beetles so you got to be careful there's no fire beetles around um, make sure you attack them when you have full mana when you're full health don't just don't be don't cowboy and go out there when you're like half health thinking you're gonna beat them they do hit hard and I would recommend that these are your targets of priority because they do not have poison if you mess with any of the snakes they have poison some of them have weak poison some have a little bit uh, stronger poison like dark weed snake be careful of that guy and this is why you want to have a shaman with you because a shaman has the ability to cure poison without a cure poison it, it's going to be a problem out here so in this area you're going to also find things like um orcs that are going to come by and all that. but if you have a full group there's nothing you can't handle and also keep in mind on this server since it is a new server there's a sand giant named kazel level 51 it is doubtful he's going to be on agnar because that's a classic server and he didn't come around to much later he shouldn't be there but just you know keep an eye keep an eye out for him if, there, if you see a sand giant coming don't ask questions just run for it so this is an area i kind of like you don't want to go too much more into the interior because you're going to run into uh orc camps and the orcs are tough they have orc oracle and you can handle any of this stuff right here let's uh see maybe let's go whack this tree uh, tree snake what i like to do is uh, everybody go after him you he is pretty fast so uh he will try to run when he gets hit there you go cast he got me with poison you can have your shaman uh, nuke him when he tries to run that's a good tactic to use but you can see here that poison 
is taking its toll on us. And it ain't no joke. And he's going to keep biting you at poison. And it's going to be the full duration every time until he's dead. And there he goes. We just nuke him right here. There we go. Voodoo Guru. Frost Rift. Bob Bam. So there you go. Look at how much health he took off me. That's that's bad. And uh, here we go. we got to be healed up. So keep in mind, unless you really, really want these guys, just leave them alone. So what you want to do is now you're about... You want to level up to like maybe level 10 here and then keep working these scarabs and then later on you want to move north. But there's a easy way to get through here without getting killed because there's a sand giant in the middle. There will be sand giants. There's things like zombies. It's very dangerous to get through here. But once you get through south row and once you know how to do that, the, there's a lot of good stuff in the oasis. And that's where the experience really, really flows and that's where your character really starts to fly. But until then, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit tough. So that's what I recommend to you guys. This is the first, uh, I'd say about first seven levels. And it should give you a good start. And once you get up here and get in this oasis, you're looking at, in a very, very short time, hitting level 20. And then after that, it's, uh, you can go wherever you want. And we can talk about that uh, later on. So let's just take a quick peek over the top of the hill. I'm going to show you. That's the orc camp down there. And there you go, Oracle and a warrior. And these guys hit a lot harder, a lot. So save them for later. And you got to be careful too. They are social. So you pull one, the others will come. Um, okay. All right, guys. I wish you all the luck with your ogre warrior, and hope to see you all out there at uh, Agnar. And uh, you know you're gonna have the best warrior if you pick one of these guys. So good luck to y'all.